it's me Ashley Marie and welcome back to my channel so this is going to be the first of my series for back to school I know I'm kind of late on some of this for high schoolers because most of you guys have started school already but for us college kids some of us start in a couple weeks some of us don't start till September or October lucky you guys I don't know what system y'all run on but whatever but I start school back in two weeks and so in the meantime I will be filming videos for my back to school series. This will be the first of those. So I'm really excited to be back for you guys. I know I haven't filmed in forever and I apologize for that. I've been so busy this summer but I am so excited for this next semester. So today for my back to school series I'm going to be filming a what's in my backpack video. So I filmed this last semester and I had great response. I had great response from my what's in my backpack video from last semester which I will link you down to in the description box. So you can watch that and see what's in there. I have a little bit of a different organizational system this year. So I'm just trying it out. I'm trying it out for the semester. We're gonna see how it works. So I haven't loaded my backpack, but um, I have all of my school supplies and everything that I got here for the semester. And I will, I will show you what's in my backpack. So without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, you can't go to school without a backpack, obviously. So I have my backpack for this semester. It is not the same one that I used from last semester. I got this one as a birthday present. And so I have this backpack. This is the Victoria's Secret. This is the Victoria's Secret pink backpack. And so it's got, it's got a lot of pockets actually. So it has one in the front, this little small one. So it's got a small one in the front that just opens up that way in the front. And then it has one right here. And then with some little compartments inside of it. And then you also have one right here here you have one right here with this little mesh pouch thing right there and that does go all the way down and then you have a little hidden one in the back which is for your laptop as I mentioned in my last what's in my backpack video I do bring my laptop to school and I do take notes on my laptop so obviously I was looking for one with a laptop sleeve in it and that one is padded in the back so that you can put your laptop there one of the plus sides about this backpack is that it has two compartments on the side for your water bottle, which is something that my Jansport from last semester did not have. And so that's definitely a plus for me because I do bring water and I drink a lot of water and I go to the gym in between classes. So bringing water and having water with me is an absolute must. So I mentioned that I have a different organizational system this year and this is what it is. So I got... I got two black binders and they just look like this. I got them from Office Depot. And so I'm gonna DIY these binders and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys on another one of my back to school series um, what they look like when they're DIY because I'm super excited about them. Like literally nobody is gonna have these binders and I'm so pumped. So what I have is a Monday, Wednesday, Friday binder and a Tuesday, Thursday binder because I have all the same classes both days. I have these divider tabs and I'm just gonna use these to divide up the sections within my classes and I'm going to use one for Monday, Wednesday, Friday and one for Tuesday, Thursday as I said. Um, I will tell you about my classes too as well. So this semester I'm taking 16 hours which is significantly less than I took in my previous semesters. So I have a dance class. I have a dance class. I'm taking um, the third level of Spanish. I am taking an ethics class. I'm taking an anthropology class um and a communications class so i think i might i might pick up something else i don't know last semester i took 19 hours last semester i took 19 hours and ended up with a 3.7 gpa so i was like okay like apparently i work better under pressure and like taking more things on but i don't know i don't know whatever i'm just weird i'm just weird you know don't don't use me as an example some of my classes, some of my classes I've heard that you're not allowed to use laptops in, so you have to write notes on paper, so I can't write notes obviously without paper. And plus I need paper for other things anyway. So I just got college rule paper. I have like five packs of paper because you can never have too much paper. The next thing I got were some highlighters. I got the um, Bic Brightliner highlighters, they're just the ones with the cap you take off and then they're, this is the five pack. They had a sale on these at Office Depot. It was like buy two, get one free. So I picked up a bunch of them because my highlighters always run out. My highlighters are notorious for running out. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get all of these. I'm just gonna take three packs of highlighters with me because I highlight my notes and I highlighted my planner too. So 
fun stuff. I have some pencils. These are the Bic Ultra Sparkle pencils. I don't take any math classes anymore, but I do take Scantron tests. So it's good to have these, and it's also good to have these when, like, there's times I don't want to write in pen when I'm doing something and, like, I need to erase. So I just have these, and I'm probably never going to use... Wow, I just threw that. Wow, I'm so abusive with my pencils. I'm probably never going to use all 24 of these pencils, but, you know, it's fine. This is the 0.7 lead, by the way. I don't like my lead too small or too, or too big. I just like it in the middle. This is the medium one. I have a pack of index cards. So these are the 3x5 index cards, which is what I use for making speeches. Since I am a comm studies major, we make a lot of speeches, a lot of presentations. I always need these. I think I have like six more packs somewhere. In addition to the 3x5 size, I have these. So these are, these are index cards as well, but these are just cut in half which is cool because I like these for making flashcards and like if I need like a quick study tool or I have definitions or something for a class, I would definitely use these versus the big ones because it's a waste of paper. Saving the environment. Get smaller index cards and you save the environment. I'm actually, I actually kind of hate myself for doing this, but whatever, okay. So I have pins next. This is my pack of pins. I have 60 pins, these are the Bic Round Stick Extra Life pens. I have 60 of them. The reason why I got 60 is because it was cheaper to buy them in bulk than it was to get like packs of um packs of like 12 or 24 or whatever they come in. It was cheaper to get them in bulk so I got 60 of them and I I write only in black ink. I only write in black ink when I write notes so I I like need I need pens in my life. All right so I have my pencil case. You saw this last year. This is the same pencil case that I had. It's a mega back from Target. And so inside of it, I just have random pens and pencils, but these are the Pilot G207 pens. I swear by these pens. I love, love, love them. I write in my planner with these because they're, um, they're a little bit more fine tip than the pens that I write with, like that I write my notes in. So the next thing I have is a flash drive. I have a little USB drive. This is a 32 gig. This is a 32 gig flash drive. So literally this will last me the entire year. But I do so much, I do so much computer work that like flash drive is a necessity. So yeah, this is the thing. And I like this one because it's purple. Purple is cool. I like purple. So this is my planner from last semester, but it's like kind of all beat up on the side. It's kind of all beat up on the side and my cover's falling apart, but I, I do really like this planner though. Um, and my planner from last year says there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy and it has my name on it, which is nice. It's really cute. So I have that and then I have my one for this year and it says be your own kind of beautiful. So I really like, I really like the quotes that I have. And then I customized the cover because the cover did not originally come like this. The cover was like originally some kind of blue color. It was like a cornflower blue color. And I didn't like it against the, like the flower color. Because you couldn't change the flower color, but you could change like the background and the writing. So I left the writing white and then just changed the background to black. I'm actually going to do a back to school segment on my planner. I'm going to do it on just my planner because I started decorating my planner. I am such a nerd. Oh my god. Can't even deal. Ugh. I'm like way too nerdy for my own good, but it's okay. And then as far as other things go that I keep in my backpack, I can't show you my phone right now because I'm filming on it, but I always keep my phone in there. Um, my keys, my makeup bag, which you saw, which you saw in my last one. Um, I usually keep like a little essentials kit. I usually keep an essentials kit that usually has like lipstick lipstick, some change, um, hair ties, that kind of stuff. So yeah, that is everything that is in my backpack for next semester. I'm super excited. I'm super excited about my backpack. I love, 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 love my backpack. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Side note, if you think of a title for my back to school series, I would love to hear it. It feels lonely without a title. So I like need a title for it. I don't know what to call it though. I don't know what to call it, but if you think of something, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that little subscribe button down there.
to see more videos from me and stay tuned for more back to school series and I hope your day is as fabulous as you. Subscribe button down there to see more videos from me and you can look back and see from my previous vlog series. Series is series. My previous vlog series. That sounds weird. Oh. Wait, like, how do you say like multiple series? Like just series? Is it like one of those like deer deer things? Like one deer or 50 deer? Is it one of those things? I don't know. I don't know, whatever.